welcome back to my channel it's wit here back with another makeup tutorial and today we're gonna do a soft glam so this is my beautiful client as you can see she already got her lashes on um and i think she also tinted her brows yeah pretty much she tinted her brows so i went in and filled them in just a little bit and then as usual i'm going in with my concealer in milani and this is in the shade warm tan and um i'm using that to arch her brows so i'm using that to um conceal her brows actually but i'm applying that in the arch of her brow and then i go in with a darker shade and I believe this is Warm Almond, and um, I'm placing that in the front of her brow. Um, and I'm just bringing that concealer down. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna blend that all out with a blending brush, a fluffy blending brush. It's like they all my clients be going on boats. I don't know. But she was going on the, she's about to get on the boat with her friends. So here I am still filling in her brows towards the top. Um, and just making sure that everything looks good. I'm doing that on the other side as well. And then here I go, um, applying Milani, um, this is a lighter concealer shade and I'm just applying that onto the lid because I'm just giving her like literally one shadow just keeping it very natural but here I go blending it out with this blending brush and then I'm gonna go in with a it's like this my favorite brown shadow I believe it's in the morphe palette it's like you can't see it but you can see it i used it before i love it so much so um i'm about to well i'm applying that right now and i'm just applying it everywhere it doesn't matter because it's like very natural and neutral Now here I am going in with Wet n Wild um, Jet Black Eyeliner and I'm just creating a wing liner for her. Um, also you guys, um, I was saying, I, I, didn't, um, I didn't conceal the top of her brows yet so I'm going to do that afterwards and um, here I am uh, applying some Milk primer i love this primer but i think i'm gonna have to use something else because i don't know maybe it's not maybe it's not holding the makeup up but um so far usually i don't get people telling me that but one person told me I guess because they like really really oily so i would i used to use milk of magnesia but i try to refrain from using it but listen if i gotta use it i think i'm gonna use it so the next time i do um someone's face that's really really oily i'm just gonna go ahead and use milk of magnesia but um here i am applying the foundation onto her skin and I'm using this um, smaller brush from Real Technique. It's the cheek brush. And I'm just um, tapping that foundation into her skin. She has really nice skin. And she has like cute, cheeky, like chunky cheeks. So cute. And I'm just using this brush to apply the foundation. And then here I go, just tapping it into her skin. No swiping, just tapping.
and if you're new to this channel how you guys welcome to my channel thank you for subscribing and you know it's fun here okay it's very fun um here i am still tapping in the foundation into her skin now here i go with some milani concealer and this is i want to say warm beige this is warm beige and i'm just applying that underneath her eyes and under uh, on top of her lip her chin her nose and a little bit on the forehead Now I'm going in with my um, my favorite brush from Real Technique, and I'm just blending out the edges of her concealer. Everyone says this is their like. What did she say? No, that wasn't her. That was someone else. She said she didn't like this part. But um, I love this part. I love the part of applying foundation and then concealer. I feel like that's my favorite part. Blending out the concealer and the contour is my favorite part. She was really sweet and she was so bubbly. Here I am still blending out the concealer. I can't wait till you guys see the room, guys. Oh my gosh. Like, I haven't been working in there yet. I've just been getting, like, clients back to back. Ooh, almost knocked the camera down. But I've been getting clients back to back, so I haven't, I've been ha I haven't been having time to um, actually go in there and fix the room yet but the goal is still for this month so i'm trying i'm trying you guys it might be this month or um the beginning the first week of april but here i am going in with some jet black pencil um you guys i really need to get the what is it called a a, a gel liner yeah i really need to get a gel liner and start applying it like this instead of me using a black pencil but i love a black pencil like i love a black pencil but i'm gonna excuse me i want to try the gel liner and see how that goes but here i am yes like do you see that i love it oh my gosh her lips are so full i love a full lip like i love full lips so i'm going in with morphe trendsetter you guys already know this is my favorite lip pencil or i use a dark brown pencil i love this pencil like i love it and here i am just you know lining up the lip giving it definition And then um, I went in with a Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm just going in and I'm powder contouring. And then here I go, I am taking my setting powder and I'm just um, carving out that contour and um, making sure it's really sharp. And her contour is cut. 
honey and then here I go with some lipstick I'm just applying that on the lip there and I love I just love how it looks on her lip So, um, I don't know what happened. I guess her uh, the liner got on her, um, it started smudging, which that never happens. So, um, I went in with some concealer, and then I went and fixed that up. And then here I am just blending that all out and just fixing it. Um, yeah. Sorry if, you, if I'm in the way, you guys. And then I applied some MAC Studio Fix face powder. And I'm just um, setting the setting powder because wherever I uh, applied the setting powder, I'm just applying that. And then here I go with some more and I'm just taking away that setting powder that I applied for her contour. Yes, look at her skin. So, um, I don't know what happened to my bl uh, blush palette. So, I end up going in with some pink shadow from my palette. And I just applied that onto her cheeks. It still was, it still worked, you know. It still did what it do. And then I um, applied some setting spray. And then here I am highlighting. And then um, I'm applying lip gloss. I believe this is um, NYX lip gloss. The new ones. Um, I forgot what it's called. And this is in cookies and cream. And I literally just applied it on top of the the um, lipstick and then here I am going with clear lip gloss and I'm just applying that above it and just blending everything together and then I'm still going in with some contour and this completes the video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next make sure you like comment and subscribe bye